The Gul'dan mirror. Um, I kind of like the invokey things. Plague of Flames, probably not great in this matchup. I don't really know if Devoted Maniac is a keep. He's probably Zoo, honestly. Maybe I don't even keep Dragonblight Cultists, try to hit my board clears. Although, I don't even know if School Spirits is that good in this matchup. I'll keep the Cultists. Well, there's the School Spirits. We're going to find out if it's good in this matchup. Tour Guide, I'd probably just take the card here. Easy tap. So I have two invokes for this Veiled Worshipper. It does look like I'm pretty much always playing the Cultist next turn. Shield of Galakron may or may not get coined out on four. Oh, discards a Brittle Bone Destroyer. Probably a pretty good card against my deck, honestly. I don't love playing my 3-1 and 2 is 1-1, one, one, but that's okay. He can tap and play Brittle Bone Destroyer here, but... Okay, Diseased Vulture is a lot stronger. That's a lot of value. Raise Dead is exactly Tour Guide and Merchant. So I can Brittle Bone Destroyer his, uh... This thing, I have to tour guide coin, but that's fine. School Spirits is not quite good enough to kill the Vulture. I think this is actually a pretty easy tour guide turn. Need to make sure to kill this first. So turn 5 is Shield of Galakron, turn 6 is maybe Tap plus the second Riddle Bone. Maybe Soul Shear Veiled Worshipper. Who knows? A little agony goes a long way. You here for the tour? Gains a mana off this. Pretty strong. So that raised dead could give him Vulture. Could give him that Demon Hunter minion I killed. School Spirits is okay, but not super good here. Dark Skies does 9. Which is 2 off. Wait, I can actually... If I Soul Shear and Dark Skies, that's not, that's one off, I believe. I could Soul Shear School Spirits here. I'm leaving with a 3 1. Probably pretty good. So I know he has another Brittle Bone Destroyer. He has an expired merchant, two 4 4 dragons, and then two more raised dead cards, which I'm not 100% on. Okay, that's one of the unknown raised dead cards. He has 9 health on the board. Dark Skies does 7. So Dark Skies plus Shadowlight Scholar does clean up most of the time. 
I don't know if I really need to play that, though. Let's just play this guy. He lines up pretty well against the board. Okay, that was the other mystery raise dead card. So I believe I know the generated cards in his hand are a 4-4, an expired merchant, and a brittle bone destroyer. I can't believe people are playing that card in Zoo. It's just absolutely shocking to me that that card's good enough, Soul Shear. This should be the merchant he's pulling out. This card's another brittle bone. I believe these dragons cost four, right? So that was at least a 50-50. I'll take two free healing here. That actually activates this if I want to play it. So I could go like Shadow Light Scholar plus Brittle Bone Destroyer here. If I want Dark Skies to clear, I have to tap, which I'm not in love with. Let's just play some good tempo-y things. I don't think Brittle Bone Destroyer really gets better than a 4-4. Not significantly so, at least. Maybe next turn I can get away with Double Devoted Maniac and then Galakrond on 9. Oh, this should be exciting. Canrathod into dragon. Quite the combo. So I know the last card in his hand costs one mana. So I can't take three damage here. That's not good. So on board I can kill Canrathod and Voidwalker. He's showing nine. I know he's gonna have... Well, I guess Soulfire's only plus two because he has to trade off a merchant to get it. Hmm. One Soulfire could discard the other, but it's only gonna be like... Like, 75% of the time, he can deal 8 to me next turn. I think I'm pretty fucked here. I need to hit, like, Soul Fragments into School Spirits here, probably. Oh wait, Plague of Flames is really good, too. Okay, I'm actually not dead here, even with the soul fires. He has two brittle bone destroyers, two soul fires in hand. I actually forgot that the second merchant makes the double soul fire even more likely. Casting Soulfire here. Okay, that's a big taunt. Could just go Galakrond plus Broomstick here. It would be really, really unlikely for me to not be able to kill the 5-5. Five five. And even if somehow I can't kill it, I shouldn't be dead because of the armor. I could just go double Devoted Maniac plus Broomstick here. Try to juice up the Galakrond even more, but I kind of like being able to Kronk's next turn. I only need these minions to have two power each. Alright, nice. Uh, I don't think I need to just grab the lifesteal out of this.
little agony goes a long way. He's at 12. Bronx can deal 6 next turn, so I never have Bronx lethal. Oh man, if I hadn't played Galakrond here, I could have died to that plus double soul fire. Do I still know that the card on the far left of his hand is a one cost card? I forgot that I had that read. I don't actually know if I still know that. Um, so that's his Brittle Bone Destroyer down. Makes Void Drinker look a lot more appealing. I think I might just have to Kronks here, though. Dark Skies does six. Dark Skies does six. He has 11. So Broomstick is seven. Photomaniac is nine. And then I guess Shadowlight Scholar. Pretty unlikely that the damage numbers are distributed in a bad way for that. I think I just play Kronks here. I like being ahead on board. Looks like I'm threatening lethal with the Shadowlight Scholar in my hand. What are you doing? Oh my god, he has three soul fires. Okay, he discarded one. Please don't have another Shadow Light Scholar. Nice. Oh, that was scary. How likely was I to die to the soul fires there? The first one is a 50 50. And then if he hit that 50 50, he had to hit another 50 50, right? Yeah, so he was only 25% to win that turn, I think. Alright, Paladin. Probably keep Dark Skies against Paladin. Do I keep Soul Shear? It's okay against Shotbot. I feel like with Dark Skies, I don't keep Soul Shear. Plague of Flames is good in the matchup. Definitely not as scary as Hand of a Doll. So I could Soul Shear this and then Shadow Light Scholar it next turn, but tapping seems better. Or I guess it could have been Soul Shear into School Spirits. But I'm just going to play Dark Skies here. I guess it's Spirit Jailer plus Shadow Light Scholar. Seems like a reasonable turn. Another one of those, huh? Probably just play a Void Drinker here while it's active. Am I double trading? into the goody two shields. I mean, I don't really see what other play there is. I want to trade into that because he could bump into my 7-8 and then re-divine shield it. 
Or you could just slam a Blessing of Kings on it and kill my 7-8. That's a no-no. I don't want to allow that. Alright, that's a live room of justice on only one threat. I'm not thrilled about it, but it's fine. Doesn't want to take seven. What a coward. This Void Drinker is not active, although I could use the coin to make it active. I think I'll just play a Shield of Galakrond here. The Nightmare here, I guess, is Blessing of Authority. But it's not that bad. So his hand is three random one drops, a discovered paladin spell, and a Librum of Wisdom, huh? One mana 3-2 was pretty good. I'm gonna go Shield of Galakrond here over Void Drinker, because... Basically, Void Drinker is bigger, and I don't think I have to trade my bigger thing into the 10-5. Even if he takes out both of my 1-1s, one I have School Spirits to uh, clean up the 10-5. The downside of this, potentially, is my Plague of Flames being hard to activate at this point. But I also turned on my Veil Worshippers, so should be pretty easy to dig for uh, the other invokey things. I just want to say that he's gotten premium one drops off those first day of schools. Like, of the three that I've seen, they've all been like top 5% one drops. Maybe top 10%. I don't know if there's that many one drops. School Spirits looks pretty good here. Okay, that one drop's not as good. I definitely think this is a School Spirits turn. Uh... Yeah, it's probably a Void Worship- a uh, Veiled Worshipper. So I did pick up a Dragon Blight Cultist. That is pretty good for activating Plague of Flames. I could save Spirit Jailer as another Plague of Flames activator. Like if I need to kill four things. I don't know that getting the Jailer in play really does anything. It does dump a card for the other Veiled Worshipper though. I think I just play it, but this definitely could be incorrect. It does also just shuffle more soul fragments into the deck, which makes Brittlebone Destroyer more alive. That's fine. Hopefully he plays like a Devout Pupil or an Argent Braggart here. Then I can get some good use out of this Plague of Flames. Right now I don't think this is a good enough Plague. I guess just like Life Tap plus Brittlebone Destroyer is pretty good here though. So whether he plays more threats or not, it's kind of fine. Alright, that's a Plague of Flames. Kind of annoyed that I have to get rid of my 5-4. It's probably fine, though. Oops. I'll just play my biggest threat here. I could have played Devoted Maniac instead of uh, instead of Dragonblight Cultist. Like I could have gone Devoted Maniac Veiled Worshipper, but I don't know. I kind of like having the only thing in play and it being a seven eight. 
That is not that bad, I think. And bounce my guy and then just replay it. Or I could even risk bouncing the Veiled Worshipper, draw more cards. I drew a Soul Fragment into Militia. Uh, what do I have left for Shufflers? I only have two Fragment Shufflers in the deck. By Veiled Worshipper. I mean, I guess the Militia never gets worse than this, really. Let's draw some cards, see what I can hit. I could Shadow Light Scholar plus School Spirits. I'm just killing a 2 1 and a 1 1 with that, that's not great. I'm gonna hit him his stupid face. Why am I trading with my 7 power minion? If this 4-4 four four was like the only thing he had in play, maybe I would kill it to deny some buffs. But, uh, I think I'm fine doing this. Double Consecration, that's totally cool with me. Soul Shear would be a pretty good draw. So I could just Soul Shear anyway and then get four three threes. Or uh, School Spirits, not Soul Shear. Definitely not playing Plague of Flames. None of my Invoke stuff looks great. I guess I'm just going to play Militia here. Probably pretty unlikely she makes more than four of these at any point this game. Um, I actually could point out to her guide and draw a card here. How likely am I to tap next turn? I don't think I need to. Maybe I save my coin for... I don't know. 443? I have seen one Blessing of Authority already. That's the scary... Well, I guess Library of Hope is pretty scary, too. But I do have Brittlebone Destroyer for Library of Hope. And Blessing of Authority. What? Oh, he discovered that one Consecration. From, uh, first day of school into Sludge Slurper into Ethereal Lackey. I've got 11 here. I can scholar his face, but I don't have too much damage. I guess I can tap here. It doesn't really change any breakpoints, I'm pretty sure. And it activates my Brittlebone Destroyer. I guess I'll go ahead and save a mana. Nice. Soul Fragment's a good hit. Double Soul Fragment, nice. Triple Soul Fragment, okay. Gained four health this turn. Let's go ahead and murder this. And then... Oh, I should have played Devoted Maniac first, probably. Eh, I guess this is fine. Whatever. This turn worked out. It's pretty hard to lose from this position. The strongest thing he could do here is play Librem of Hope, but... I mean, that does slow me down a lot, but I can just kind of run my board into it. Lady Liadrin... Doesn't really do much. Man, Iron Bark would be sick in that deck. Get her back on your Liadrin turn, just buff the shit out of her and give her taunt. I do love a good study. 
Okay, devout pupil. You can buff the shit out of that. I have a lot of good draws in my deck. Actually, Dark Skies is like the only bad draw. Although I probably wouldn't like Bronx at this point. Kills my five, so I run a 1-1 one, one into the Divine Shield. And then I've got, I've got 11 damage in play pretty easily. Am I tapping? If I tap into Brutal Bone Destroyer, it's just lethal. Animated Broomstick is probably lethal. Is Galakrond lethal? I think I'm one off with the Galakrond weapon. Hmm. I don't love playing Plague of Flames here, but I don't think I could clear with Dark Skies, and I definitely didn't want to leave that thing in play because I could just die. Like, I could kill the Devout Pupil on board, but I couldn't kill the Lady Leadrin with anything other than Plague of Flames, I think. This also just sets up a pretty likely two-turn lethal. How big does this get? Oh, you can't do that. Now you're dead to Shadow Light Scholar. And he left himself dead to Kronks. Also dead to this. I think he might have just always been dead here, even if he didn't make that attack. His Brittle Bone Destroyer just killed that. Kronks was... Pretty good damage as well. Animated Broomstick. Let me trade at least a 6 power cultist into it. 